but we're getting a little bit sidetracked. We're going back to our fear. And the, to acknowledge that we might have had some difficult times in our lives and we might have had some difficult upbringings and our moment that which has led us to this moment has definitely, you know, within ourself and within this present moment, there is something else within there. And you could say that it's kind of like an, like a realm, like a, like an angelic kind of a, within ourselves and within the truth and between this, because we're talking about frequency and frequency can take form of, of many different dimensions. Uh, we're talking deep within this world and within our heart, we can't as human beings believe that there is just one, um, one, uh, f one, uh, there is one, <laughs> the best way to put it is there's something else that's in the middle of us and existence. We are in existence, but there's something in the middle of it. And within that middle, you could say is a, a realm of possibilities. And within that realm of possibility is essentially the calculator of life. It's if we decide to pick up this hammer, which just happens to be here for no reason, that hammer was already there. I mean, you could say that, yeah, it's there because I put it there. But the essence of calculation is that, no, that hammer was there because it, it's meant to be there. Now, as human beings, we often get caught up in the fact that we think from a, a logical perception that that hammer was there because I put it there. And if it wasn't there, but then you have to think, well, that's where that middle ground is is created is that no that hammer was there because yes i put it there but also that hammer has a calculation to be here in that in that present in this present in this present moment fate is the essence of that calculation so when you talk about you're going down the street and you get it's a bit negative. Say someone offers you flowers walking down the street. Okay, you can say, okay, that lady is there because of blah, blah, blah. But no, did that lady actually come into your life to help you? Was this hammer in my life to help me? Now, that's where, where we're going with this is that, okay, yeah, maybe I put that hammer there. But did I purposely put that hammer there through subconscious... Um, talkings that is programmed within that mid-level and this is the truth is that there is awareness and and guidance within that mid-level between us and the physical world there is the essence of guidance within this realm there is there is definitely energy which is working with us making us come to understand ourselves it's it's our own manifestation which is potentially guiding us and talking us with us in life so when we're not facing our fears we are essentially building a bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger wall against ourself now you can get into asking why, or well, it's, it's obvious why, because our minds doesn't want us, where our mind is our control system. And I don't want to get into that right now, but what I do want to get into is when we are building that wall, the greatest fear is the greatest illusion. It's not necessarily our greatest fear. Uh, to be continued. <laughs> 